What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This is the Green Hell multiplayer experience. There he is. What's up, man? Hey, hey buddy. Yeah. We're what's going on, on everyone? Uh, we're on episode 17, <gasps> folks, and we are currently building. Keith is working on our little pavilion up here. This is a lovely, lovely little place. Uh, Give you a little overview real quick. That's dried, nice. dried, dried meat over here. We got two oh, yeah. dryers. Let me let, let me oh, let me get oh, some, sorry, let me get some of that. Please, please. We got two please, dryers. Good, we could get a full setup, a full like structure on this side, but he found this little easement or whatever you call it, which is great. So that keeps our dryers covered from the rain, so they can dry all year round, not just in the dry season. Here's our fire pit. With, oh, my spider's done, Keith. Time to harvest mm -hmm. him. Hey, you know what? I actually had. What did he? What happened to him? Wait, where did, where did he go? Oh, there it is. Here, I've already got one, so I want you to take that. And, and you see it? The bird eater ash. Combine mm -hmm. that with a bandage. Do you have an extra bandage? I'll give you one I of those. So. Okay. Yeah, combine that with a bandage, and then you got a nice little uh, super bandage. That's what I like to call it. Cool. Super. The Goliath dressing, as they call it. That's that's the proper name, but it's not as fun okay. as my name. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Sure. The super dressing. Well, what was your name again? I already forgot. I just said it. It's the, if you would listen to me, it's the super dressing. It's easy. <laughs> it rolls right off the tongue. Anyway, um, the super dressing. As I mentioned, <gasps> but I'll say it again. It, um, I believe it, it treats poison, as well as prevents infection in a wound that has been like hit by an animal or a tribesman or something. So it's kind of got a works as an ash or it works as like a lily slash tobacco either or it's very handy <gasps> a hybrid exactly right all right so i'm getting our water collector going now the fires oh i wonder if the fires are still burning from last episode they probably are <clears throat> but we need that ash oh speaking of it we got one melted iron Thank you very much, Keith. So I'm just kind of stockpiling the iron now. I'll probably save it up and use use the first three pieces we get to make this pottery thing here. Boy, I need to eat. My energy's low. Oh, I got some blue mushrooms. Mine's like half. You want some That's good, but my energy's low. If you have some to spare, I, I do. would love it. I do, I do. I gotta get this uh, leech off you. It's only a 10% banana tag, sir. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's a deal, really. There you go. You can't get that deal on the north side of the jungle, I promise you. I understand. Well, I just dropped it on the ground right <laughs> in front of you there. Thank you. I'm just gonna eat it up. Oh, yeah. That's got me feeling good. Right on, right on. Okay, so what do we got going on now? Keith's uh, making some good you know, progress, I'm just buddy. Framing up more. Yep, yep. What do you got plans on building right, underneath to... this? Is this going to be our bed section here where <clears throat> we sleep eventually? Yeah, possibly potential our beds. Okay, still an open concept. We'll be here huh? temporarily. Once we get the second story going, that's our. We're gonna have separate rooms up top. Now, have you tested it? Are we able to get a third row of uh, structure right here along this side? Are we able to bring it out essentially more? I have not. Okay. I have not. Okay. Okay. Well, that'll be nice. It looks I'm like we probably can, to. at least in this section, and then in this section. I bet you we can, and probably this one too. We Check got some substantial room. Yep, this will work. It's yellow, uh, so I just got to clear this. So, yeah. I like It'll be it. good I there. Like I think this one says absolutely not. It won't go in that one, which is fine. It's I think the more the better. Not a big deal. Like, we push it as far as we can, you know? <clears throat> yep. Absolutely. Okay. See what we can fit in this baby. All right, cool. Sure. All right, I'm going to keep working. I'm going to finish this one up. Keep working down below on some of our tools and workshop stuff. Looking for some long sticks. Anybody got a long stick? One up here. I got it. I got oh, it. You're already, you're already up here. My obsidian axe is already being put to the test. 
Oh, when you pick up a stick, it actually shows you the durability of the stick you're walking with. <laughs> Never noticed that. Wow. Now, how would you know that? I, because I'm carrying a stick and I'm looking at it. I would look down to see my axe durability, and it's a stick. It's no, no in real life, how would you know oh. the durability <laughs> of the stick? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I guess you just have to get a feel for it. Lumberjacks probably have a better sense than just a regular city folk yeah. do. All right, where's that bamboo that we brought? Yeah, one piece of it. Bingo. All right. Oop. I need charcoal now for the water filter. And we're almost home free. And you're going to say to yourself, oh, what's the big deal? Just drink out of a coconut or a turtle in a shell when it's raining. Well, it's going to stop raining for several days on end. And this little thing is going to save our butts. This right, Keith? It's a lifesaver in the dry season. You got it's a must-have. Must-have. Ooh, we got some fish down here, buddy. We got some piranha. You hungry? Get us uh, I'm getting there. A little bit extra energy, maybe. I didn't know there were piranhas in this pool, bro. Why are we catching piranhas? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that wasn't there last time. Oh, uh, uh, I've never seen piranhas in our little spot here. So I'm just realizing, what, what, what? That's... We've swam That's in these waters good. many times too. It like, was not definitely not like that last time. We've never have we have you ever, ever caught a piranha here? I don't think so. No, you know, never. I do think that the animals like sometimes change, like their little where they spawn at. Their location. I swear to God, there there are no capybaras over there where there used to be, which is kind of sad. But yeah, and now there's pir piranhas down here. What? That's just freaking me out. Oh, perfect. The fire's out. I actually need all this right here. Okay, what's in this chest? Take a look. Show everybody. Show off our inventory of uh, bandages we got here. Quite a nice collection. Cool. Oh, there's some instant coffee, bro. All right, I'm gonna put that in the bag. We're gonna cook that up. I thought. Where'd I knew, that come from? Did one I knew, of us I, have it? I picked it up. I think I got it at the airport, or it was on our travels. I picked it up. So we're gonna cook that up some night. Coming up, buddy. We'll split that or something. Yeah, we gotta find out. Yeah, we gotta find out what that yeah. is. Oh, man. I, presume, <sighs> I don't even know how you cook it. I presume it's the same way you cook like mushrooms and stuff, but we'll see. Okay, what am I? Yeah, doing? I would think. Oh, I got a little bit of charcoal, so I'm going to slap that down. I also got some ash. So I need three of those. And let's work on this over here now. So I need some sticks and I need some planks. You got any planks on you? you have no, sir. Oh, disappointment. Oh, there's one. Mm -hmm. There's two. I heard the disappointment in your voice there. One, two. You hear it. Uh, ooh, I got a bunch of meat on me. Hold on. Get rid of this. I think we got some open room on the dryer over here. We got plenty oh, of room. We need to utilize that. Actually, we got some meat that's all done, too. See, I'm telling you, we need a, a better source of meat than just the fish, though, because there's no good fat on it. Those little cappy bars. Well, we do have our nuts, though. We got a lot of Brazil yeah, but nuts, that's so. not that's not like a permanent yeah. solution. It's just temporary. You gotta start growing some of those trees or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this your? Yeah, it is exactly what we need is the pine nut tree. That's your we'll decoy be, right we'll here. Fine. I like your decoy, buddy. I like. Right, this. almost looks like a little, uh, little barricade. Yeah, it's, it's not a grill rack. You know what I mean? That's thing? a barricade. You put something over not, here. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. That's. I didn't think about putting it on the other side. Well, hold on. I got an idea. How about we put a frog stretcher? Where's the frog stretcher? Is that a trap? Yep, there it is. <laughs> See, the only thing with this, yes, it might draw their attention, but it's probably not going to last long. Like, it'll, it'll take them like two seconds to knock this down. <laughs> Still going to build it because it's hilarious. It warns us that's all we need it for. I wish we could. Like, you, you use some sort of animal as, like, an early alarm system or something. I don't know. It's, uh, two cans or 
macaws or something. I, like I've said mm, before, those. I really wish we could uh, domesticate macaws so we get their eggs. Because those eggs are incredible. Mm. It's like a superfood. Mm. Yeah, and then, and then the feathers. Have plenty oh, of yeah. Feathers in. Yep, have like a feather feast. I didn't need a rope. Permanent source of feathers would be cool too, actually. Although they're not super hard to get them, but yeah. Actually, in an area like ours, there's not a lot of birds. That's another downside. But there's no perfect settlement place in this game. Everything has like a one or two shortfalls, I think. Every good location. Oh, mm. that's so loud. Oh, okay. that's great. I did it. I built the poison dart frog trap thing. Successful. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Oh, <laughs> I jumped into the water too. I noticed that was dirty. Take a little trip over here. Let's see if we can find any piranhas. So I'd like to know. I swam all through that when I fell off. And right. I didn't measure nothing. It's good. Maybe you got lucky though. Yeah, it does. It could also be that it's just like what ends up in your trap is really just kind of random. And not necessarily dependent on the local fish, but. I don't know. No worries. Anyway, continue working. Uh, more sticks. So, hold on. Take these bananas. We'll need those in the morning. Okay. So we got something in here working. Yeah, we did. Okay. Good job, Keith. Way to be, buddy. Way to be. I'm what I do? I don't know. What did oh, I do? Oh, well, you put first? that. You put that uh, iron in the thing. No, oh, that was so helpful. I just felt like congratulating you. I'm gonna <laughs> go check. Speaking of fires, I'm gonna go check. Oh, I can see it over here. It's still burning. Okay. I'm really anxious to get that charcoal over there. I need it for two different projects. Oh, I also need some logs. What am I doing? Chopping down the little bitty things. Ooh, my guy just said he's getting tired. Oh, poor baby. Tell him it's way this too poor early. Guy. And we don't go to bed at 6.30 p.m. here, okay? You hear that? Even I don't do that. That's just ridiculous, guy. <laughs> Even I don't do that. And I do go to there bed ridiculously early. I found some, found some uh, ghost shrooms. Give me a oh. little pick-me-up. Oh, there you go. Just a little pick me up. It's a way to get yourself it's out of the dark. Thank God it's getting dark. Hopefully Ryan will let me sleep soon. <laughs> Keep working. <laughs> I don't hear any hammering over there, sir. Keep. I see. I see unfinished progress. Almost done. Almost uh, done, sir. You don't have to throw your tools around in, in disgust. Okay. No need. Oh, one plank short. It's always one plank. I need. I'm always one plank shy. One, sh one plank shy of a pottery table. That's what they say out here in the jungle. Now, this might be in pitch black. <laughs> I think I can find my way to a, a tree. Despite how dark it is. I have a sixth sense about these trees. There's one. Oh, you know what we haven't checked in a while? Our little cave over here. What the hell am I hearing? Oh, you probably found it. I got that centipede kind of crawl around on me. I forgot about our little cave. Doesn't have any iron in it though right now, unfortunately. We should be checking that though. Guy on that. Okay, there's the plank. There there's another one. Another layer. Good job, bud. Let's see. We got one, oh, two, you're really three, four, progress. Four. Six. Yeah, about six frames up. Yep. Yeah. Six frames up. Looking good. I like it. My guy said I need a rest for a second time. I'm going down, bud. Alright, I'm coming. You don't have to, but I need a little energy. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. God, you know where I'm going now. It's right over here, buddy. It's right by the water thing. Make sure to put it by the water. By some sort of landmark. <sighs> Four in the morning. That's, that's probably a perfect. little too late for Ryan. That's perfect. That's it. <laughs> Wake up and have a little banana breakfast with some toucan meat. Yeah. 
Drink the water. Drink that water. Oh yeah, pretty solid. Mm. I'm about to need this peccary meat. That's really good. Do you have any extra meat by chance? Yeah, bud. I am fresh out Here. of protein. I, got, I just dropped a piece of peccary meat on the ground behind you. It'd be hard to see it. All right, thank you. Hold on, I, 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 dropped, I, I dropped you something else there to eat too. Go ahead and eat that. Centipede body. Just eat it. Don't look Sheesh. at it. Eat it. That'll put hair on your chest right there. You're gonna eat that now. You'd be talking to primitives and stuff that don't even exist. Okay, I need some long sticks. <clears throat> Four long sticks coming up. Oh, I'm still waiting. Oh, I bet those fires are out. Okay, hold on. Pottery table's going being put on hold. Yep, fires are out. It's all dark over here. That's priority. That is a priority. Keeper of the plane. Okay. Just call me the, the keeper of the plane. My macros are solid. <laughs> you sound like an astronaut. Houston, my macros are solid. Copy that. Yeah, all right. We'd like you to go poop into a tube next. <laughs> okay, now we're getting in business with this charcoal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Won't last long, though. And, in fact, before I go and use any of it, I'm going to build four more fires and get them started, boys. Hope we're about to tender with me. Yeah, we're good. Alright, would be nice to have a little bit of help, but I don't expect it. I don't expect it. Hey, is he talking to me? Talking to that hey, little is parakeet. Talk is he talking to me? Out. Talking hey, to your, co talking your pet to cockatiel. Alright. Alright, there we go. Time to get started out here in the dark. It's the dark of night. <gasps> Wait, is the sun hey, coming up? Oh wait! Hey, come check out. this out when you get a second. Tell me if you like this or not. This is interesting, but it may be too much for you. I, and probably. I I got to get your approval on I'm this. A, I'm a pretty conservative fellow, so yeah, I probably don't like it already. Let me come poo poo on it. it what are we doing? Yeah, I dropped. Check this out. Look, I'm doing that overhang oh. thing. Right here, because I can't do another. Dude, frame, we can just jump think, right up right? on it. I like yeah, that. Yeah, you can almost walk right across. If that. we can get it, so we can walk on it. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be Well, yeah, we'll have to have the mud for the. Yeah, so the only have... issue I see with that is that um, once we get it all built and we have like a second layer, if we do get tribal attacks, we're not gonna be immune on the second layer. They'll probably be able to jump up here themselves, but I don't know. Maybe not. You know, I don't know if they know how to use a ladder or, you know, I don't know what is what when it comes to second floors, <laughs> but um, I do like that. I like Those it look too. cool. Keep it exactly as it is. Build it. Let's do it. I'm with it. Let's go. Let's go. I want more of it. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, it's regular stone. I got leeches on me, but I got bigger priorities right now. The leeches can have a little breakfast. Alright, get rid of them. Do you need any help doing anything? I need you to pick these leeches off yeah. my legs, please. Yeah. No, I'm good. Come get them. I'm good. <sighs> oh, well, um, we do have some fires that need to be started again, but no worries. I got it. You keep building. You're working on our mansion. It's almost as important as what I'm doing. <laughs> almost. Not quite there yet, but you'll get there one day. Graduate to important things. No, I didn't even know that you can um, take down these trees that have the like ivy leaves wrapped around them, mm -hmm. the smaller ones. Oh yeah, yeah, really? You know, did uh, you know that? I, I think I, didn't even I think know. you can take down every just... tree but the palm. You can take down these real big ones. Which? Oh no, no, no! You're right. Those big, thick ones. You're right. The regular. But if they're smaller, you can. I just did it. You can you can take these down. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, they got the ivy on them. Yep, good job. I, didn't I didn't know that. that. I didn't know that until maybe two episodes ago. I finally tried it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the primary source of logs in my family. <laughs> oh, 
This is called a balcony, by the way. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that. I've lived in a cave my whole life. Oh, the water thing's done, boys. Right, I'm going to fill this up with dirty water. Um, I don't really want to use a coconut biden for that. Neato. Yeah, this water filter is like one of the best things you can build in this game. I love it. Great. I feel like your settlement's not truly ready until you've got one of these going. So we fill this up with. You really the... haven't made it right, yet until right. so you got one of exactly. those going. Fill it up with this strangely orange water. Looks like orange juice. It's like McDonald's uh, high C orange. And it will slowly drip right out there. Right there. A little drip. Fill this up. Took the first sip. Alright. Um, next is to get this going. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Next is to get our fires going. Yes. Yes. Got a lot of extraneous things in my backpack. I'm about to start dropping stuff. Just warning y'all, I'm about to start dropping crap. He's gonna start dropping, I get hot. Oh my god, let's not get any copyright strikes here, Keith. Don't start singing. You know, it takes everything in me not to be singing. I know it does. On a daily basis. We appreciate your willpower here at the channel, though, so thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, coconut. I'm not gonna drop that down here. Actually, I'm gonna drop it in the freaking water. Never want to see this coconut again. Go away, coconut. You're dead to me. Hey, guess what? I want to get two more fish down here. Lovely arowana, or whatever you call them. Yeah, high in protein. That's about it. But I love that yeah, we'll arowana. I'll stick it on the. Uh, I'll gladly stick it on the drying rack. If you want to do something just a little bit quicker, I'm going to start this fire. Sure. I don't know how long this meat's going to take on this drying rack, but I'm going to need some protein. Really? Person. You're getting pretty desperate, huh? He no, will, no, he no. will work so hard desperate. that he will neglect his own, like, standards and living and macro elements. It's a sad state of affairs. You want some soup? Or you just, I'll just throw all four flares down here. And they won't take long to cook. These are pretty thin little pieces, I think. Technically. Alright. I think it's time to go hunting. I want to get these fires started. I know that's what I need to, but we also need some food. <laughs> and since we don't have any capybaras... Feel like oh, this stuff's cooking fast. You didn't go too far, did you? Well, go ahead, help yourself. I'll take it off. Okay. I'll just, I'll just take them off, anyways. Make sure they don't burn. <laughs> Got a mouse. Hope you're ready for some mouse meat, Keith. Mm -hmm. Be your dinner. I hear something on a mouse. Yeah, instead of campy bars over here, it looks like we got mice. So, celebrate. That's what we get to eat for the rest of our lives. Well, I hope that rotates out and we do see some cappy at some point. <laughs> rotates out, yeah. No kidding. Otherwise, this is kind of junk, but I'm walking around looking to see if there's any more animal spawns around here. There's got to be some somewhere. You gotta stumble across some delicious peccaries and silly looking capybaras. Just have to. Whoa! Oh my god, I just hurt myself. What'd you do? I jumped off a cliff by accident. I was trying to jump on. Ooh! Two. There's iron in these veins. What'd you get some? Right by our that cave right by us, yep. Yeah, but I just take it downstairs. I'm gonna check it real quick. 
throw it on the sure uh, throw it in that uh, chest down below, please. Thank you. All right. Um, oh, if I can get it, my guy's got like no skill at iron apparent ironing apparently. Oh really? Well, I don't think he. My really God. This is strenuous work. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. How did I not kill that little sucker? Bro, how many times does it usually take you to get this iron out? I don't feel like, like it should take times. this long. Oh, bro, I've hit it like 10. I must yeah. not be hitting it in the right Might spot or something. Yeah. Dude. It's a little weird. I got it highlighted. I'm hitting, I'm hitting it, but it's just not what it take. Are you sure you have your uh, your pickaxe? Oh, here we go. I got a better position. Are you insulting me right no, now? No, I'm just saying. How dare you? It's just a possibility. I just want to suggest any possibilities. I got it. You know what I had to do is I had to kneel down and look at it like upwards. Oh, weird. Yeah, I was. I do. couldn't do it standing up. Yeah. <laughs> you got to kneel on your knees, you or you got to uh, go mining on your knees. Yikes. Yeah, I had a, I had a little capybara in my sights, and I shot him, but I hit him in like the neck. So he got away. Mm. Oh, I'm a little myself. I thought it was a headshot, but the computer's telling me no. The computer said no. I did find just a whole mess of blue mushrooms. Well, that's good. That's a win right there in my book. Win win. <laughs> One of these. Alright, so. Heading over. Where the hell am I? I've lost my way. Here we go. Yeah. I'm really surprised we haven't had even a tribal attack yet. Right? Didn't we get one? Another one uh, since the very first one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same here. I haven't seen one since. Same here, sir. Well, we did go on a little little walk, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time here. Although that's not necessarily true. We have built quite a bit of, quite extensively at our little location. Uh, you know what? This is where there's stingrays right over here, bud. I'm going to get some of them, too. I don't, I somehow have a feeling these don't have a lot of meat on, or a lot of fat on them. Mm -hmm. But they're just like not dying. Maybe I should get a spear if I'm going to do that. A little bit nervous about crossing that. Oh. Hmm. So far in all my little excursion here, I've only seen one capybara, and I missed it. Dang it! Oh, and a mouse, which I got. I killed the mouse and missed the capybara. It's just how it goes sometimes, folks. It's the way the life, the cookie crumbles in life. Why don't you come home with a mouse? Although it's funny is they are distantly related. The capybara and the mouse, as most people know. Right. Just of course, so are we, but hey, you know. Pete's being real quiet over there. I don't know what he's doing. Probably something he should oh. do. Looking at my next move on the framework, that's all. <laughs> Gets in that building mindset, like I said, and he will literally just work himself to death. He will ignore his macro elements. I'm back. I'll be dead. Like, God rest his soul. But he made me a nice home to live in. That's right. We'll make uh, soup out of your bones. How's that sound? And it doesn't... Uh, it I do appreciate it, that. Well, it doesn't even count as cannibalism. I'm, I like it. I'm good with it. I like it. Like Somehow, somewhere. Honor. Oh, I got a little bit of meat, not a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these fires going. That's priority in my life. Constantly have four fires burning at all times. 
Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm already full, oh, aren't I? What is this thing? Oh. Well, I got a bunch of the big ones, but none of the little ones. Well, we are coming up to the close of the episode here, so I guess I'll I'll come over and get a nice little look at our Oh, there's one fire's ready. I'll come over here. Good nice little closing shot of our waterfall for the viewers. Everybody has a, everybody likes to have a nice little view. Um, get over oh, here. Yeah. Walk real slowly. I wanna see what I wanna come over here and criticize what Keith's been doing all this time. Wasting time. <laughs> oh well no I can get up and I got walk it around. done. I like it already. I, I can, done. can do some. Oh that's uh, cool. I haven't even palms. tried that yet. Don't walk on the palms oh, in no, the middle. No, I'm walking on the thing. Oh I just oh, knocked bro, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> hey, but you'll be glad to know that I'm safe. I didn't fall, Keith. Hey Keith, Keith. Oh thank the Lord. I didn't fall, so I'm safe. Okay. <laughs> Good, good, uh, good. Okay. That's what's important. So, hey, buddy, luckily you didn't, um, luckily didn't knock the fire one over or the drying rack. That was like the least important one. So I knew that. I knew that. I knew it. So uh, you got a little bit more work to do, buddy. But hey, that's always good. Progress, making progress. Yeah, a little extra work. Hey, thanks. Here, come here, come here. I'll make up for you. I got, I got a special treat. Some blue mushrooms. Oh yeah, that'll make it better. All right, well, guys, that's going to be it. All our shenanigans and hijinks aside, here's that view I promised you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, come back next episode, and I promise we're going to do more exciting things here in the jungle. Right, Keith? Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. All right. Peace. See ya.